If you're a heat and nourishing technician or even a salesperson, why is it important for you to restate what's going on and why does this matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Suffenbell. I'm coming to you live for HVAC Technician and Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. We are on video number five of this playlist of how to get to the table and what you should do at the table. And, you know, recapping the situation is really important to make sure that everybody's in the same place. There's a lot of times that as you're a technician and you go out to a home and you locate issues that are going off the equipment, it may very well be that one person is there and you have to bring the update to the second person. So you can't just sit down and say, hey, let's get into this. You got to give the explanation. You got to give the play by play. You got to give like a three minute overview. And it's going to be something like this. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, would it be all right with if we everybody gets to be on the same page, gets to the same level of information? And I just go over what my and findings were on on your system and what was going on. And 99% of the time, people are going to say yes. And occasionally someone's going to go, nope, just get to it. And so like, you just got to know that sometimes this doesn't work. Now, if you're using the belief that I do, that you're always doing the right thing for the homeowner, this is always going to work to your favor. So while you were going, while I was going through your system today, here's all the things that I noticed. Here's all the things that require attention right now. Here's all the problems in the future. And these are all the, the nice things to have done. And the reason that we're going over options is because Mrs. Smith said, hey, Maybe it's time to look at a new system, or maybe Mr. Smith said it's time to look at a new system. And so that's why I'm here. That's what we're going to do. And there's going to be times where that conversation takes 30 minutes. There's going to be times where that conversation takes two minutes. It just depends upon the level of questions that people have, the level of comfort that they have with you, and the, and, and the things that are going to come up. And so like sometimes I'll meet with salespeople, I'll ride with them, and they want to speed through the process. I'm like, look, if anything, do what you can to slow it down. If anything, do what you can for the person. Do the right thing. Give them whatever information that they need, right? I've got 3,000 videos on YouTube, and sometimes people are like, Scott, why do you have so many? Someone's going to rip you off. Like, I give people the information that they need. Do I have more? Absolutely. I probably got 3,000 more videos than me. Can I put them out there? I don't know. That took a lot of time, energy, and effort for me to do, okay? And this is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So your recap is the complete explanation of what's going on. The age of the equipment, the manufacturer, the date, the parts failures, the specs, everything that was supposed to go into it. And what that'll do is it'll allow for you to build a little bit of rapport and please do the right thing. Don't make anything up. Don't make anything up, okay? And I, I say that a lot because in this day and age, you don't have to. In this day and age, there's a digital footprint of everything that you do and everything that I do. And that recap statement, what it's going to do is going to save you from getting it to the end. And then for people to go like, well, I really don't know. You know, it doesn't sound like there's anything that, that's really bad and really failure. I've seen salespeople, technicians speed into this without taking the time to say, hey, you know, here's the problem. And then there's a second part to this is what caused it. So. It could be age, it could be airflow, it could be maintenance, it could be the manufacturer, you know, it, it could be a lot of things. It could have been system design, it could have been, you know, just the last technician didn't do their job, they hooked things up wrong. There's like five major reasons why something failed and had a problem. And in the recap, that's when you can give reason why. Almost every system in California, okay, let me fix this. Almost every system in Sacramento that was installed prior to 2006 has a size of return issue. They all have return issues, okay? And with that being said, because they have return issues, like if you don't address that in the very beginning, what caused my compressor to fail? I don't know. You have a 20 by 20 return with a 16 inch duct on a five ton unit, like that will destroy compressors. That will destroy uh, uh, heat exchangers, right? You gotta be able to give the reason why parts failed. It was age, it was manufacturer, it was airflow, it was maintenance, it was, you know, you've got to be able to, to tell that story. And I don't mean story in a bad way. You got to be able to tell the story in a way that makes sense. There you go. Give your recap statement. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three, find the subscribe button, click on it. Every time I send a video, you'll get an update. Two, if it's social media, hit follow. Three, three, share this video with a friend, right? Tag them. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.